Hello, welcome to this Wasabi Tools video. My name is Neil, as I'm sure you probably already know, and I'm a senior systems engineer for Wasabi in the UK. Um, we quite often get asked by our customers and partners whether we have any very small lightweight products that you can install to allow the movement of files or folders between local machines and Wasabi. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We've got two main products that we use. One is called the Wasabi Explorer and the other is called the S3 Browser. So again, as I said, this is uh, just small little lightweight tools for being able to interact with the Wasabi S3 buckets, drag drop folders from local desktops into the buckets or folders in the Wasabi system, and also see the properties of those buckets, see the size of them and other information. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera off because nobody wants to see me. Uh, if you do, you're very strange. Uh, so let's turn that off. There we go. And I'm going to, the first product I'm going to talk about is the Wasabi Explorer. So once you install the Wasabi Explorer, it looks a bit like the old Norton Commander interface, if you can remember what that uh that was if you're as old as I am. So you get two screens, one on the left, one on the right, connected into different areas. Um, at the moment, these are just both connected into my local computer. Um, so this is just my desktop, and over here I'm just showing you the uh, um, the root file system, so the C drive and, and other things. So the Wasabi Explorer um, can be downloaded from our knowledge base. Just open the knowledge base, which is knowledgebase.wasabi.com and then just type in Explorer uh, into the search box. Once you hit the go button, you'll see the knowledge articles down here. The first one is Wasabi Explorer for Windows and the second one is Wasabi Explorer for Mac. So pick which one you're using. I'm a Windows user, so I'll pick the top one. And then you get the instructions on how to download the product, um, how to install it, how to get it up and running. Um, I've already done that, so we'll just go ahead and look at the product straight away. Um, I pretty much did the next, 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 and it was installed. So the first thing I need to do is connect it into the Wasabi system. So I'm going to go ahead and add a Wasabi account. So we'll hit add on the accounts uh, tab. And then the, op the only option you get is Wasabi, obviously. Who wants any other storage? Um, so you double click that and then it gives you a box asking you for a display name, um, which is just entirely up to you. Um, I'm just going to call this one Wasabi1. And then uh, the access key and secret key. Now, if you don't know the access key and secret key, these are obtained from your Wasabi portal. Um, so you log into your portal where you see all your buckets. And then over on the left here, uh, you'll see the access keys tab. And this is where you can generate a new set of access keys, which you can use to interact with the buckets. Now I'm going to do another video in a minute talking about users, groups and policies um, and how these, uh, you know, um, assign to the various access keys. But just for this demo, I've already created some access keys uh, at the root level. So I'm going to go ahead and you just use those. So I'll just open my notepad uh, just on the second screen so you guys can't see that. And I will copy the access key and the secret key into the boxes. There we go. I'm gonna hit the test connection button. Hopefully we get a nice green tick. There we go, absolutely successful. Um, so I'll close that and just hit okay and then close. Now I've got it connected over on the right here, I can use the drop down and I can now pick my new Wasabi account. So that's gonna show me all of my current buckets that I've uh, that I've been using uh, with other things. So I can now go ahead, uh, let's do something here. Let's go ahead and create a new bucket. Um, so I'm gonna call this uh, NS Explorer. Uh, pick a number, three, there we go, and pick a region. So I'm gonna go for London here, because that's my local data center. Um, so I'll pick that and create the bucket. So there we go, NS Explorer 3, I can see my new bucket there, and I can go ahead and I can create a new folder if I want to, or I can just go ahead and upload a folder. So let's do that. So I think this folder here, Docs, there we go, uh, just contains some old, uh, some old manuals and some other things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop that folder up here. So what that's gonna do down the bottom, you'll see our task list uh, chugging away there. 
um, and it's going to start now. Here we go, uploading that uh, those files up to uh, up to Wasabi. So that's how the Explorer uh, works, really. As I said, it's very very simple. You can just go ahead, download it, uh, install it, and start uploading some data. The other thing you can do, you can look at the buckets, you can interact with them, you can have a look at the properties of them, see their size, how much data is in them, where they were made, um, and some other information. Um, so that's, uh, as I said, a very, very simple tool. Free, It's free to use from Wasabi. We don't charge for this tool. Uh, you can just go ahead and download it. So the second tool we're going to look at is the S3 browser. Now this can be just downloaded from, uh, you can just go on to Google and type in S3 browser um, and that will take you to the, you know, the website where you can download it. Or you can again go on to our knowledge base and just type in S3 browser again, uh, WSER, there we go. Um, and that will take you to the, how do I use S3 browser with Wasabi? And again, there's links to downloading the product there and also how to uh, how to install and get up and running with the product. So as I said, I've gone ahead and done the next, next, next bit and installed the product. It was very, very simple. It literally was next, 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 a few little clicks there. Um, and I've opened it and I've got a, a blank system um, here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new account in. Now, slightly a couple more things we have to do with this account. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name here. I'll call this one Wasabi4. Um, now we need to pick an account type. So we're not these guys. I um, don't know why anyone want to use them. Um, so we go for S3 compatible storage, but we do need to put in a rest endpoint now. Now, if you don't know what your endpoint is, you can go back to the knowledge base um, and just type URL uh, into the search box. And then what second hit here is what are the service URLs for the Wasabi storage regions. So go and click that and it will show you all of the regions and what the service URL is. So I want London. So here's the information for London, but I don't need all of it. I just need this bit in the middle, which is the service URL. So I'll go and copy that. And then I'll come back to my rest endpoint and paste that in. We don't need that giant space in front. Thank you. Um, and I'll go ahead and grab my access key from my little notepad over here and my secret key. There we go. So once I've got those items in, so give it a name, pick S3 compatible, slap in the uh, endpoint and then add in the two keys. I can just go ahead and add a new account. Now that will instantly talk to Wasabi and it's going to show me the buckets that I've already got created. So the bucket we made a minute ago with the Explorer, there it is. Um, and I can see the docs there in that one. Same process for S3 browser. I can just hit the new bucket um, uh, button up here. I'm going to go ahead and call this NS. Uh, let's go for S3 browser. Uh, there we go. I've already got my region set up, so I don't need to change this. It's already been all, uh, in the tools, I've, uh, in the camps. I've already set up my default region as London. So I'll just go ahead and create the new bucket there. Uh, and here we go, we can see my new uh, NSS3 browser empty bucket. And I can go ahead and create a folder in here or I can just go ahead and upload a folder again. Uh, I'll just pick this folder we used a second ago, the docs folder. And there we go, it will just start uploading um, all of those files that were in that folder into my new S3 browser bucket. Um, that shouldn't take long, couple of seconds once that's done. Um, I can hit the refresh button and we'll start seeing the docs folder appear. Um, and again, a couple of refreshes later and hopefully we'll see that it's finished um, uploading all of those files ready to go. And again, if I want to bring some of those files back down, you know, I've uploaded a file of Wasabi and accidentally deleted the local copy. Um, I can just go ahead and pick one of the files, hit the download button. It will ask me where I want to save it. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's fine. Let's go for the scratch folder. Um, and it will download that uh, that file for me. So there we go, two very, very simple tools. Uh, the Wasabi Explorer to give you that kind of Norton Commander interface, drag and drop between the two windows, or the S3 browser, which gives you this much, you know, slightly um, more information kind of interface where you can, you know, see what's going on, see your buckets, um, and see, again, interact with them, upload, download data, and view information around them. 
So I hope this video has been useful for you. As I said, I'm going to do uh, another one in a minute around uh, users and policies and access keys. Um, so you might want to uh, might want to take a look at that as well. Um, anyway, thanks for uh, watching today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.